What if I told you that creating perfectly lip-synced videos just became as simple as uploading one image and one audio file? You gotta be kidding me. No complex editing, no hours of manual work, just press run and watch the magic happen. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm genuinely excited to share today's discovery with you because this is something I've been hoping would exist for months. You know how we've all struggled with creating believable talking head videos where the audio actually matches the mouth movements? Well, that struggle might just be over. Today, we're exploring Multitalk, an open source video model that's tackling one of the biggest challenges in AI video generation, high quality lip synchronization. Today, we're looking at something really cutting edge in AI video. It's about making multiple people talk and interact in a video, realistically, uh, just based on their audio. That's but before we dive into the technical details, let me show you exactly what this can do. I've prepared a demonstration that I think will genuinely surprise you. The quality is remarkable and the simplicity of the process is what makes this particularly exciting. Take a look at this example I created and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Hello, how are you doing? This is a test to check if multi-talk works. What do you think about that? Now, let's talk about why multi-talk matters. We've seen incredible progress with video models recently, both open source options and premium services like VO3 and Hilio 2. These models can create stunning visuals. But here's the thing, they've been missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. Think about it when you watch a video without synchronized audio. Something feels off, doesn't it? It's like watching a movie where the dialogue doesn't match the actor's lip movements. That disconnect pulls you right out of the experience. Managing high quality lip synchronization has been one of those persistent challenges that seem to require either expensive software or extensive technical knowledge. Multitalk is designed to change that equation entirely. So what exactly is Multitalk bringing to the table? At its core, it's a novel framework specifically built for audio driven, multi-person conversational video generation. The six dollar haircuts for poor people from the people who don't really know how to cut hair yet. Uh, yes, that's not true. This is the Tristan Evans salon. I'm sure that everyone that's enrolled here is a genius. But that technical description doesn't really capture what makes it special. The model's primary objective is creating natural, vivid, human-centered videos where facial expressions and body movements stay perfectly synchronized with audio control signals. This field has been evolving rapidly and most existing methods fall into two main categories, talking head generation and talking body generation. Here's where it gets interesting. Most human animation methods have focused primarily on talking head generation. These approaches use diffusion models to match audio features with visual frames and they've gotten quite good at creating convincing, talking head videos with realistic facial expressions. Bootend, this is a significant limitation they struggle with precise audio aligned facial movements and often completely ignore related motions. What about hand gestures? Body language? Those subtle movements that make human communication feel natural and authentic? That's exactly where multi-talk excels. Recently, several methods have started incorporating video diffusion models to achieve talking body generation. Some have used mixed data training strategies, others have integrated additional hand pose data to synchronize body movements with audio. The progress has been encouraging, but significant constraints remain. The biggest limitation, most existing methods target single person animation. They simply can't handle multi-person scenarios like conversational videos. They lack what researchers call dual stream audio injection capability. There's another problem that's particularly frustrating for creators. Limited instruction, 
following capabilities. You might provide a text prompt describing specific body movements, but the generated video fails to follow those instructions accurately. It's like having a talented artist who can only paint portraits but struggles with full body scenes or group compositions. If you're already feeling limited by those constraints, imagine also being restricted in what content you can share and even struggling to get paid for it. That's where today's sponsor comes in, a platform built to support creators of AI-generated content without the usual roadblocks. If you're already working with uncensored workflows using Comfy UI or tools like Flux, this might be something you'd want to check out. Posting content online without showing your face, name, or even speaking, and waking up to payments sounds fake unless you're using DFANS. Most platforms demand your ID, limit what you post, and delay your money. DFANS, no forced KYC. Fast withdrawals, under $1 fees. Your content, your control. Thousands of creators earn here anonymously. Negative reviews, DFANS blocked fraudsters using stolen cards. Real issues, their support fixed ours in 10 minutes. Their secret weapon, AI chatter, talking to fans and selling your content. Even while you sleep, Yes, even AI-generated posts convert. Why the fans.xyz? Because it's bold, creative, and decentralized. Not a typical .com. Don't ditch your main gig, just test it. Upload a few posts, track your payout speed, compare the freedom. Setup takes five minutes. Links below. Now, let's get practical. How do you actually implement this on your own system? I'll walk you through the ComfyUI workflow configuration and what you'll need to get this running on your machine or preferred cloud service. First, let's talk about the models you'll need. You'll want an image to video WAV 2.1 model ideally, the 14 billion parameter version with 480p resolution quantized with FP8 for optimal performance. You'll also need the WAV LoRa Litex 2V Rank 32, the Multitalk model itself, the WAV 2.1 VAE, the Uni 3C control net model, and Clip Vision H. Organization matters here. Place the image to video and multi-talk models in your diffusion models folder. The Light X 2V goes in your Loris folder. The Uni 3C model belongs in the control net folder and place the VAE. Here's where things get a bit tricky and I want to save you the headaches I encountered. If you simply update your Comfy UI 1 video wrapper node, it won't work immediately. This will likely be resolved in future updates, but currently the Comfy UI version is in a development stage. To make this work right now, you'll need to switch to the Multitalk branch on the GitHub page rather than staying on the main branch. Pay attention here, the Multitalk branch has different folders and files. Your goal is matching that structure locally. Make absolutely sure the content of files like node.p, uni, 3c, controlnet, and multitalk matches exactly. I cannot stress this enough. If these don't align perfectly, the model simply won't load and you'll spend hours troubleshooting. Another critical step involves your diffuser library version. You need version 0.33 or greater. I initially had version 0.32 and encountered persistent loading problems until I upgraded. If you're running this on a 4090 or older GPU, set your base precision to FP16. Attempting FP16 fast might cause crashes unless you're running PyTorch 2.7. I tried installing PyTorch 2.7 on my 4090, but encountered compatibility issues and had to revert to PyTorch 2.6. Here's a pro tip that saved me considerable time. Whenever you change libraries, like PyTorch or other essential dependencies, create a backup of your current library state. Simply run pip list, copy the output, and save it somewhere safe. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later when something breaks and you need to restore a working configuration. Once everything is properly configured, the actual creation process is remarkably straightforward. Prepare your audio by cropping it to the desired length. 
load it into the load audio node along with the image you want to animate. Then simply press run and watch as it generates your video. The simplicity of this final step contrasts beautifully with the complexity of what's happening behind the scenes. You're leveraging sophisticated AI models, complex neural networks, and advanced diffusion techniques. But the user experience feels almost magical in its simplicity. What excites me most about Multitalk isn't just what it can do today, but what it represents for the future of content creation. We're moving toward a world where high quality video production becomes accessible to creators who might not have extensive technical backgrounds or expensive equipment. Think about the possibilities. Educational content creators can bring historical figures to life. Storytellers can create compelling characters without hiring actors. Businesses can generate personalized video messages at scale. The applications seem limitless, but perhaps more importantly, tools like Multitalk are democratizing video creation in ways we're only beginning to understand. The barrier between having an idea and bringing it to visual life continues to shrink. I'm genuinely curious about your perspective on this technology. Are you excited about the creative possibilities? Do you have concerns about the implications? What would you create if you had access to this kind of tool? The conversation around AI generated content is evolving rapidly, and I believe it's important that we engage thoughtfully with these developments rather than simply accepting or rejecting them wholesale. As we explore these powerful tools, it's worth considering both their potential and their limitations. While Multitalk represents significant technical progress, it's still important to approach AI-generated content with appropriate disclosure and ethical considerations. The quality of results will vary depending on your source materials, hardware configuration, and prompt crafting skills. Like any creative tool, it rewards experimentation and practice. I genuinely love to hear about your experiments with Multitalk or similar models. Drop a comment below sharing your results, challenges, or creative ideas. If you found this breakdown helpful, consider subscribing. I regularly explore emerging AI tools and techniques that can enhance your creative workflow. Are there specific aspects of AI video generation you'd like me to explore in future videos? Perhaps particular use cases or technical challenges you're facing? Your feedback directly influences the content I create, so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts. The landscape of AI-assisted creativity continues evolving at an incredible pace. What seemed impossible just months ago is becoming accessible to everyday creators. Multitalk represents just one piece of this larger transformation, and I'm excited to continue exploring these developments with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.